Gemini, let's jump into it. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <clears throat> What's coming up for love for Gemini's? Okay, you come up as the King of Swords in this uh, spread, Gemini, here. So I feel like um, you're going to be at a good place. Now, the King of Swords has a lot of knowledge, has a lot of wisdom. He's obviously very confident, he's well aware. So I feel like this is the knowledge that might be coming in that I said about the general reading, something potentially dawning on you, okay? So you're going to have, you're going to be able to put information together about loved ones, about situations, all the information is going to come to you, and I feel like you're going to be in a good position. I do. I feel like a part of you might even want to step back or retreat from a certain situation because you do have the retreat card, the Four of Swords. Um, it's a period of uh, distance in communication, or it's a period of laying something to rest. Now, I wouldn't say there's an exodus or a breakup. Maybe for some of you there might be. There might be a parting of ways or you might notice someone pull back um, in terms of communication. I don't think it's you. I think it's them, but I could be wrong. Um, nonetheless, I feel as though there could be a bit of dysfunction that's coming in to relationships. But I think the way you're going to maintain yourself, the maturity, the way you'll come across, the way you'll effectively communicate, uh, that'll, that'll carry you through. And it's all about the mind state. The King of Swords is all about his mentality. So something about your mind state is going to make things a little bit easier. It might be that you maintain a more positive attitude. It might be knowing what you know now changes things for you, emotionally speaking. That could also be the case. Now, for some of you, there is um, it's going in the opposite um, side. Something that you've laid to rest or uh, potentially a person that you've sort of filed away. Maybe you haven't heard from them. Maybe they ended things. They might resurface because you might be inundated with communication. There is nothing higher than the King of Swords in communication. So emails, texts, um, Twitter, uh, Twitter reposts, Instagram likes, Facebook messages, whichever way, shape or form this form of communication comes to you, um, there's more increased communication or the frequency of which communication could even be people blowing up your phone. Now, for some of you, it could be someone new. You've got the Ace of Wands here. Let's not forget you have that beautiful Ace of Cups in the general, potentially two new chapters in love coming in, or a water or a fire sign who's destined to come in and shake things up. I feel for some reason it's an opportunistic time for you in love. Now, this could also mean if you haven't given someone a chance or you've sort of said, oh, well, I'm not really attracted or I don't really see that happening, suddenly you might give them the time of day. There's a shift because you're going to be thinking differently with the Seven of Pentacles. I'm telling you, there's something that has occurred, uh, an emotional maturity, an epiphany, a realization, where you went wrong, what you could have done better. It is self-growth. And the Seven of Pentacles says to me, there's been a lot of analytics, thought, contemplation that has gone into an issue. Now, it might be with an Earth sign here. You might notice that an Earth sign is becoming more contemplative, becoming more serious, looking at how far you've come together, or it could be that you are doing this all this contemplation here, Gemini. And suddenly, you're thinking differently. You're seeing people differently. Maybe you're even seeing yourself differently. But this attitude is what's going to bring you success and love. This attitude of, of coming up as the King of Swords is freedom, yet security. He's very secure with his sword. Um, he's, he's equipped with the knowledge of himself of the error of his ways, of the strength of his ways. So that's coming up around you. Now, for some of you, it could mean a, a situation comes to a head because the five of ones can indicate competition. So there might be people competing for your time. You might feel like a part of you is competing for a loved one's time and you'll definitely communicate that to them. If you're hurt, if you're hurting, if you're healing, you're going to communicate that. But the five of ones is not being able to lay down solid foundations. So there could be someone here, maybe a fire sign, can be any sign. But there's either too much competition or there's too much going on right now that the dust hasn't settled and the opportunity to lay down foundations isn't coming through very strongly. And what I think this could be translated into is that for some of you, the time is not yet. It's not yet ripe to build foundations with someone. You might be in communication with them, but if you're wanting to build a future, 
For some reason, there could be some sort of block. There's something that has to give. There's something that has to change. There's something that has to evolve. And this will have to take place potentially somewhere around the next four or five weeks. Okay, you've got those numbers here present in the cards. Um, but there's also be there, there also might be family members, friends, people in your social circle, colleagues that might disapprove of a connection that you have going on. You might not feel you're able to share these things with them. Maybe they're trying to be, you know, they're trying to lead you in the right direction, but it's only pushing you further away. That could also be the case um, for you this month in love. Let's move on and have a look at your career, business and finance and see where these general messages uh, tie into those areas of your life. Okay, Gemini career, business, money, creative pursuits, career paths. Okay, there's potentially a lot of umming and ahhing going on. The Seven of Cups, you're not happy somewhere, Gemini. Five of Pentacles, are you neglected? Are you financially not being given what you feel you're entitled to? Are you struggling to make ends meet? The Seven of Cups is very much a scattered energy. It's an emotionally disorientating energy that you'll feel some point or another at work. Now, I'm not sure if this is some of you because you've got a love connection happening in the workplace, which might spill into career and make you a little bit uncomfortable. Um, the devil could, could just be a Capricorn. The Hierophant could just be a Taurus. But what the devil energy carries, if, we, if you're not dealing with a Capricorn in the workplace, could mean that someone is taking you for granted. Someone's taking you for a bit of a bit of a trip, okay? Um, might be manipulating you. Might not be telling you entirely what's 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 uh, your your responsibilities are, what your expe um, what's expected of you. The devil is like the slave driver, and these people are tired and overworked and linked, and they don't feel like they can get out of the devil's grip. So they feel very confined to a situation. Now, some of you want to break free. Maybe it's breaking free from tradition. Maybe the workplace has done something. Company culture has done something for X amount of months, years, decades. And all of a sudden, you want to break free. You want to break the chain, break the cycle. So you're trying to innovate ways to make that happen. And maybe that's that scattered, somewhat overwhelming energy. Because it's confronting. You had the emperor. It's confronting. It's intense. But the devil card is the slave driver. It's temptation as well here. But they're just just be careful because the devil card is taboo activity. So something that's unethical, something that's frowned upon in the workplace, in the business, might be committed, whether it's by you, whether it's committed by someone you work with. But this is going to rise to prominence. This is going to come to the surface. It could be theft. It could be someone um, not adhering to rules and regulations. It could be someone uh, not playing fair. It could even be competition coming in around you. Could, could come from an earth sign. You do have earth energy and then you have the five of pentacles as well. This is a card of neglect. It could point to financial neglect. It could point to someone being in a precarious situation here. Withering away. And you know that hangman here, something is upside down in the workplace. And the, the ten of swords that I mentioned... Possibly something you feel inflicted or burdened by something, because this can this can indicate pain. This can indicate um, troublesome energy for an air sign, which would be you. So the Ten of Swords, I think, coming into play, coming into this reading, there there could be a very uncomfortable situation that takes place in the work setting, and you might be consulting with someone high up. The Hierophant is here, someone of status, someone of prestige, or someone who's well well known for what they do and you might be consulting with this person maybe for advice maybe there's a certain situation they're going to have to mediate or supervise it could also be someone who's testing you or watching you from afar gemini um they're wanting to see your reaction now the devil when i think of this reading the devil could be cracking under pressure so someone might want to see if you are cracking under pressure um so it could be like a probationary Thing. It might be a test. It could be like um, a seminar. Um, it could be like a quiz, something that's given in the workplace. Um, I guess behavioral things. 
behavioral tests or even like um, psychological work performances tests, things like that could be coming up as well. Um, but it can also be an agreement, okay, it can be something that's binding, so it might be a collaboration, you did have the two of cups, there is a message here, maybe this is an agreement that's going to be made exclusive, or a deal that's finally going to go down, um, because you do have the monetary results, and I feel like towards the end of the month, you might seal the deal of some kind here, um, and that scattered energy will fall away, because suddenly you've got, you're at a standstill, you're at a good point where you can look at your surroundings and go, well, I've achieved that, I've got this, I've done that, I've met with this person, they've signed this. So financially, I think on, on, on an end note to the month, things will improve, but give you an opportunity to find that balance. Maybe this is organizational skills, time management, um, priorities, prioritizing, it could be this, and it's something that you really have to utilize and, and, and take advantage of in order to achieve that Knight of Pentacles success towards the end of the month. Now the Hierophant can also represent an asset, Taurian energy. There might be a new asset coming into play, a new home, a new car, something that's quite hefty. Um, so that might be coming in around you as well for a lot of you and it could leave you in a precarious financial state. So make sure it's something that's attainable, affordable, doable type thing before you go ahead and leap into that gems, okay? Um, I will leave it at that though. Just want to thank you again for tuning 